Hello everyone, welcome to Talking Drums. This video is about how blood cloth or Bogolanfini is made. The Malian Bogolanfini, Bogolan, or mud cloth gets its name from the process of dyeing cotton cloth with fermented mud. The iron rich mud, which is fermented for nearly one year, produces a black or brown pigment on the traditionally hand woven cotton textiles. Mud cloth originated in Mali, has become a popular symbol of the Malian culture, and is now commonly used in art, decorations, and fashion. Bogolanfini, in the Bambaran or Bamanan ethnic group's language, means earth cloth. Bogo means earth or mud, lan means with, and fini means cloth. The town of San, Mali, is known as the center of Bogolanfini production. The process of dyeing the cloth dates back to the 12th century. Traditionally, men were responsible for weaving the cloth and women dyed it. The dyeing process is now primarily done by men and the production time shortened due to simpler, more modern techniques. The cotton cloth is first dyed yellow using ingayama leaves and painted with symbols and designs. The cloth is then dyed repeatedly in the iron-rich fermented mud until it reaches its dark brown or black color. Then the yellow ingayama dye is removed with soap or bleach. The dyeing process can take up to three weeks. Historically, textiles were considered a prized and valuable possession. Traditional hunters wore mud cloth as a disguise. Wearing the cloth also elevated one status in the community and it was thought to provide protection during ritual ceremonies. For women, wearing Bogolanfini was a sign that a young woman had reached adulthood. The symbols and patterns on Bogolanfini have distinct cultural meanings. Some patterns refer to proverbs, mythological animals, or to a historical event, like the battle between a Malian warrior and the French. Each symbol and arrangement has a meaning which was originally passed down from parent to child.